Hello Pisces, thank you for joining us over here. Let's get straight to the confirmation. But a quick recap. We had new beginnings and friendships. Your year is, that you, the year you're going into, you'll be meeting new people. This new beginning, New Year's Eve, this could be your New Year's Eve party. But what we had with the fairy oracle was the bright mother and the journeyman setting off on your new path, knowing you're perfectly balanced and your guardian is cheering for you. The shaman deck showed us the upper world, the reinventing of yourself and the blessing that is coming in for you. When this card shows up, this is big blessings. It could be uh, tangible, monetary, physical money, and it could be about quality of something you're doing or something that you gain. Taking a leap of faith, you're going to collaborate possibly with a Gemini. Again, this is about divine timing, um, making a choice. You could be uh, being drawn to a soulmate here. <coughs> it's the lover's card on the leap of faith and collaborative efforts. And again, we have the marriage card can't make this stuff up. There is a commitment coming. What does she want? What do you want? What do you want, Chloe Bird? If I smile like this, will you put me out? Begging your pardon, guys. Oh, I don't want to stand up. I'm in my pajama bottoms. Can you wait? <laughs> you can wait. Come here and sit with mom. Then again, maybe not. Commitment, marriage, partnership. The temptation is someone coming in that is, it, it looks to me like you might find yourself in a compromising position um, where someone has you your back up against the wall and whispering, I'll do the housework. Uh, that's a joke. The temptation is to be, uh, to give in to this person that is very passionate for you. Not exactly a wise thing to do. Spirit is saying, oh, hold on there, Pisces. This leap of faith. Be careful with your words. They can be cutting. And uh, you're not coming across as the healer that you are. Justice with this new beginning and the star card. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles, the star, and justice. Karmic justice. Do you know why she wanted to go O-U-T? Because <laughs> she knows every time she comes in, I give her a T-R-E-A-T. -E and she's starting to gain weight because she's going out more. But I spied on her one day. She went out there and sat on the step for a minute and then barked to come in. A little stinker. You gave up a love that you loved very much. That broke your heart to leave behind. You did something very selfless in this act. It helped close this cycle. What I love about this particular world card is that the green man is here. So whatever this selfless act was that you did... And maybe releasing someone you love that broke your heart, releasing them with forgiveness, closing out that cycle. Green Man says, I saw what you did. That was brave, selfless, and now I'm going to bring you wealth. The Green Man is about bringing wealth. 
Um, a message is coming in or came in, coming in. That's going to help bring you out of your shell. And again, this is on justice, karmic justice. This one's bringing you right out of your shell. You're, oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. You went from the eight to the ten of pentacles and temperance. You worked hard on yourself, looking for that gold at the end of the rainbow, making the impossible possible. This, to me, makes me feel like that isn't the ten of pentacles at all. That is the six. That is about balance. Equal give and take. Someone wanting to work. Someone wanting to work with you. To have equal give and take. To have that balance. There is a message rushing in from a lover or a potential lover. Um, making an offer of love. You're feeling stuck. You don't trust your intuition. And you've had to remain strong. Strong and steadfast is what I heard. Feet firmly planted. You've got your barriers up. Your energies were depleted by an energy vampire. You are... This could be a message coming in of someone wanting to reconcile with you and you don't, you don't want to entertain this person anymore. But there is victory here. Victory in love. I think what this means is that once you've cut them off and once you're like, no, I'm on a new path now. These are where my boundaries are. This is where the victory comes. This person's going to realize um, what your worth was and likely too late. Finding your balance. I need to make a decision. You're looking at things from different angles, weighing what to do and picking the option that is more the most balanced, the most secure. This new beginning, so many options. But you're still grieving the past. Come on. Really? I mean, all week it's been coming up in the reversed, saying that you've healed from the past. I think this is a memory sneaking back in. That temptation. Like, oh Lord, if I could just get through one day without thinking about that person, then maybe I could get on with my life. But this is you not looking at your options but there is a new beginning here so rest assured that if you do get through a day without thinking of that person that's a breakthrough we're going to clarify with one more deck before we go to the or the love oracles that brand new beginning again I'm telling you this next two weeks and going into 2020 you're all about truth, not illusions, not illusions. You're all about truth, clarity, and victory. So this looks like um, this opportunity coming in that you may be taking a leap of faith towards in business. Um, you may be a little worried that you shortchanged yourself. That you might be taken advantage of. You're worried about being taken advantage of. You're looking ahead into the dif distance over the collaborative efforts of with someone else or other people. Maybe this is at the workplace. And uh, maybe taking that leap of faith in the new year of, you know, positive thinking. Divine guidance here. You could be falling in love with someone you work with. This person, huge temptation, really passionate for you, it gives you an, a cup of love, wants to work with you. 
and you're tempted. You're very tempted. But I think that you've, you've gone into this hangman mode and the two of swords mode saying, I need, I need time to think about this. Star card. You, you could be, you're in danger of saying something publicly that's going to offend more than one person. But you are on your path. You're doing exactly what spirit is guiding you to do. You feel stuck, but you're not. Karmic justice played a part. And you have this new beginning with another star card. So you could be a public figure. But oddly enough, you feel stuck. This is an illusion. Someone wants to come back towards you after you've closed out a cycle. Dang, hate it when that happens. Just when the things are getting good, there's that temptation. Person that really rocked your world comes back. Are their intentions good? Or are they still a player? Or are they just playing with you? And you're going to be strong. When this message comes in, you'll be strong. You're not going to hold back. You're going to speak your truth. I got the feeling you're going to tell this person, you are everything in my world, but the energies are toxic and I can't go there anymore. You're birthing something so beautiful. This work you've done on yourself, you're the alchemist. I mean, this is the temperance card, but it does remind me of the alchemist. Uh, there's the empress. Working on yourself. You're finding your balance. And here comes the cornucopia. This person rushing in. Whoa. Wants to offer you the world. They want to offer you the world. And, and they, they don't even mince their words. Their words might sound a little awkward, but they're not mincing words. You feel stuck in hermit mode. Your emotions, you're not giving out emotions. You're being strong, maybe to do with this person from the past, that may be coming back in. Or... They're still in the background. They're, you're still in their energy. They still think of you. In fact, they see you as withdrawn. Uh, withdrawing your energies. They feel stuck. They don't know what to do. They want to come forward and say something, but they don't know how. Victory. You kept your boundaries up. Good. Good, Pisces. Good. Um, not interested in... Any messages that take you back to the past, you want victory. And you get it. Now you're being recognized for who you are, what your value is. You're being looked up to, admired, respected. Yeah, look at this. Two of swords, two of pentacles, making decisions. You're in hangman mode, looking at things from different angles, all these options that you've got. And feel that, all right, I'm going to stay here in hangman mode until I cut out everything that is weed. Pull out the weeds so that my garden can, can bloom. I need balance, says Pisces. I need my balance. I know I'm a Pisces. I know I'm spiritual. I know I'm psychic and intuitive. I know all these things. I know that I have deep, deep emotions. But don't think for one minute, I don't know how to get grounded. And by golly, I'm getting grounded. Until then, these options stay on the table. Until then, they stay there until I make a choice. Uh, we have the lovers again. Clean new start. I think even while you're still grieving the past, 
this person comes in. Even before you're completely over the past because you do have a new beginning here, a victory in this new beginning, even though you still have some residual effects from the past. And this person is coming in at this time for this purpose. It's the right time, whether you're ready or not. And it will probably help you to heal. And this is about choices too. It could be that you are being faced with a choice of going either into a partnership in business or partnership in love. It's now facing you. Whispers of love. What message do we have for Pisces? What whisper of love do we have for Pisces from December 21st to January 4th? December 21st to January 4th. What message for Pisces? Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. I, I get the feeling this is for the other person. Cross watcher. Uh, Pisces, you no longer want to deal with people that are just all talk. You want to see results. Have faith. Trust your faith in the situation. All things are going to work out. You're starting on a new journey. Have faith that it is your destined path. And be grateful. Always, always be grateful. That's, uh, that's the sacrifice. Biblically, <clears throat> that is exactly what the Lord was talking about. What sacrifice was. He says your incense is like dung to my nose. Your bloody sacrifices, I, I want nothing to do with it. This is Old Testament too. What he wanted was their love, their gratitude. This is higher self, your higher self, your Christ consciousness connected to source. Our umbilical cord to the whole, to the collective. Finally, let's do our tried and true romance angels what am I going to name this what's the final outcome for this and advice for Pisces in the next couple of weeks going into 2020 what is the final outcome and advice for Pisces going into 2020 Final outcome and advice for Pisces going into 2020. I'll take it. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, of all these options, they're in there already. Oh, Chloe. Ugh. Oh. How to stop feeding her those terrible. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I think that has to do with more than one Pisces one has already met them they've come in uh, another one there's new love coming in but they may not see it and right now you need to retreat um, which is exactly what I see that you've done you took a step back because there's all these options coming in you're not sure if I mean on the business sense is this going to be a fair business partner? On the romantic sense, as like there's, there's all these options. 
And yet, in spite of all the work you've done and your healing, every now and then, this past energy sneaks in with a memory, a thought pattern that you've been working on changing. This person is coming in with a cup of love that wants to work with you. And it could be that you just see it as a temptation because you don't feel you're ready. This could be the one. I hope that helped. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Next reading on January 4th will be all about the next month coming up, the next three months, the next, the next year. What's 2020 going to look like? I think we already know, Pisces, you have a very bright year ahead of you. And as I have seen in uh, personal readings with Pisces, wow, wow. There won't be a day of regret for what's coming in. On that note, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.